Hey everyone, welcome to part two on how to pivot your business. Again, if you have a failing shop, whether it's Etsy or Amazon and your product line is not working anymore, right? Because it's too saturated. Make sure you watch part one to the series. I'll link it down below uh, where we I taught you how to find the types of products you should go into considering the material, materials that you use for your current product type or potentially something completely different, okay? But I teach you that in the first video. Now in this video, you have a list of, quite a bit of list of product ideas, product, uh, you know, niches, et cetera, that you may wanna get into. Again, this list is not set in stone. This list is just to help you, you know, essentially say, okay, what's the my possibilities? Now that you have a list of possibilities, we actually have to narrow it down because you can't do everything. Um, and two, you have to understand from the list of possibilities, what's worth getting into demand. You want to get into things that people are searching for, because if you get into things that are just cute and nobody's searching for it, you're going to be in the same position you are now, which is a failing Etsy shop, a failing Amazon shop, um, and people are not buying your product. And we don't want none of that. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to check for demand. Okay. So I'm going to share my screen as per usual, okay? So here we are, um, I'm on Etsy. I have a few methods and I'm gonna show you each one of them. And this is gonna be simple, okay? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume you have a list of a variety of different things. And we're gonna test these variety, I'm gonna make them up as I go along, okay? You have a written down or you have an Excel file, who knows, okay? You have to see, on the Etsy search bar or Amazon search bar, if people are searching for it and how could you tell? Because things will auto-populate when you type in the product type. Okay, so use, let's use our mug example from the first video, okay? So imagine you decided to make mug mock-ups, all right? So you're like, okay, I sell mugs. I no longer wanna sell mugs. I actually love the mug market, whatever that means. Um, but I research and I think I wanna do mock-ups. I'm not sure how big of a business that is, but nonetheless, you type in mug mock-up, okay? So, and by the way, when you're in the mug mock-up, you know, industry, you probably should be doing other drink and mock-up related items, but nonetheless, you want to see that when you type it in, look, you see the auto, all the auto-populated items, mug mock-up, mug mock-up. Blah, 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 PSD, mug mock-up bundle, blah, blah, mock-ups, mock-up for men, mock-up video. You know how Etsy has video now. And by the way, yes, you could, it's not really Photoshopping, but Photoshop your item on a video. It's a little harder to do, but nonetheless, 15 ounces, black candle, blah, blah, blah. Quite a bit. Okay, let's hit space. You see all that. And it gets lesser and lesser, no big deal. So put mock-up together. And you see what comes up, mock-ups, A, B, C. So here's the thing. When I first put it, you see all the things that populate. That's a good sign, okay? But if you're doing the ABC method, which I taught you in the first video, and as you can see, there's not much. There's not much. There's probably a few here and there. Probably the max that you're going to have is all this, right? So if you do with, for, um, and yeah, this is it, right? So you might say that, is that good or is that bad? First of all, the name of the game is to find as many auto-populated terms as possible. This is not bad. Make it a rating system. So next to your idea of mug mock-ups, you're gonna put medium, for example. Something high, right, high priority, would be if I did a whole bunch of like A, B, C, D, and a lot of things will auto-pop it. That means, oh, the mug mock-up market is killing it. For example, um, let me see if I can find one. Okay, T-shirt, okay? A, B, guys, look at this, C, D. And not only that, obviously we know that this is saturated category. It's not really saturated, but, you know, uh, obviously there's gonna be a lot of things that come up. But this is an example I'm showing you for women, or how about um, women t-shirt A, women t-shirt B, women t-shirt, I missed C, C. So even when I 
narrow it down by putting an extra word with it, my ABC method works out really well, okay? What does this mean? That means if you have t-shirt written down or, or women's t-shirts or, here you go, you decide to do research and you saw a funny t-shirt, right? Oh, funny t-shirt anxiety, funny t-shirt bridesmaid, D, E, okay? F, G, I mean, look, look at this. That means you would write next to it, hi. Okay, high priority. So you're giving it a rating system. Because if you have different things on your paper, like you, if you wrote different things like mugs, shirts, blah, 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 you don't want to do all the things. You have to go into a certain market. But if you want to check which market to go into, you could do this. Now, you might have some things written down that are within a market, such as funny shirt sayings or... Um, you know, shirts with wildflowers, like we saw the, the previous video, or um, I don't know, right? Bridesmaids matching shirts or whatever, okay? You can still do the exact same thing. So, right, bridesmaid, and you have to think about how people would um, search for it. Bridesmaid shirts, ah. As you get more niche, guys, yeah, you may not expect to see the ABC method really like pull it out there, you can still give it a high, medium, low rating, okay? Um, but just so that as you niche down within a category, um, it may be harder. So you're not just doing brides, you know, shirts, right? For men, women, whatever, children as a general. You're doing bridesmaid shirts, right? You're not just doing kid shirts. You're doing kid shirts for brother and sister, like being a big brother or big sister, you know, those type of shirts. So you have to be careful um, in assuming that it may be low, when really you just niche down, right? Anyway, bridesmaid shirts. So quite a bit already there. A, B, I don't know why I keep skipping C. C, E, F, G, H, I. And don't forget, switch it up, okay? Shirts for bridesmaid, bridesmaid. Um, how about matching bridesmaid Shirts. And by the way, sometimes, oh, bridal party, that's smart, right? Sometimes people use different words. So you could do the search and say, what else are people using, right? Especially if you're not familiar with the market. You could hover over and check the keywords and go, oh my God, bachelorette shirts. I forgot about that. Bride shirt, like that, that helps to determine whether that market you wrote down is high, medium, or low. Okay, bridal shirts. That would be, how about matching bridal? Okay, there's some here and there, okay? So determine it and write it down. You continue through your list, which is probably quite a bit, and you're gonna look and say, is it high, medium, or low? Now in the end, after doing all this, you're going to have, and you can do this on Amazon too, a list full of high, medium, and lows. And then you're going to say, okay, first of all, remember, if it's if you just have on your list everything within the shirt category or everything within your product type that you just want to, you know, try to, you know, get into, because imagine you did like the funny meme shirts and they're no longer working and you want to get something else, you might only have shirt related items on your list. That's fine. Within that, now you can see the top, the biggest priorities. And maybe within that, the wedding market is really great to get into. So maybe you continue doing research on the wedding market. Or you notice that funny wedding sayings, you know, on the shirts are really good. So maybe you should be a funny sayings type of shirt store, right? For every type of occasion, for every type of occasion, right? There's many possibilities, okay? However, if you have different types of products within your store that don't have a, a theme, for example, you could be a wedding store, wedding store, an occasion store, and have shirts, mugs, blah, blah, blah. It's a little harder to do, but people do it. It's fine. That's fine. But if you're not like that and you have mugs on here and shirts and you have planners and whatever, because you're like, I want to see what's possible. I want to pivot my business completely. That's fine. But you got to pick one. And this is a common theme amongst them, like the wedding market, baby market right? Usually common themes are typically ag around occasions. Be careful with that, okay? Because that has its highs and lows throughout the year. Fine, but you know, it's fine. Um, 
occasion, holidays, um, things of the sort, right? Common themes such as being funny, you know, stuff like that, okay? So, <clears throat> or uh, style, you know, ho hobo, et cetera, right? Uh, boho, they say hobo. <laughs> okay, so now that you have that, you're like, this is great, Dahlia. I'm ready. I picked one I can go into. Hang tight. I want to show you a few more things, okay, that kind of help. Now, this may confuse some of you, and you can stop right here and say, got it, Dahlia. But let me just show you the rest, and you can decide, okay? <clears throat> Let's go back to funny mug, right? Um, funny mug about Florida. So, so here's the thing. You're in the funny mug category. Like Dahlia, I did the I did the research and yes, I saw funny funny mugs. Um, you know, in general, is really good. Now what? I have it as my high. I'm gonna get into funny mugs. I'm gonna do funny mugs for everything. I'm gonna do funny tumblers, I'm gonna do funny mugs, etc. Now, if you want to just put the if you, so you have a lot of probably some high priority ones, if you want to just see which ones are the absolute best, because maybe you need help narrowing even more, or you need help deciding which ones to launch first. Yes, we are limited in our time, right? You go through and say, okay, from these search phrases, all right, funny mugs, and you can do the most general, you could do a little bit even further than general, you could do funny mugs for women and dad, whatever. You want to do the funny mug category and say, all right, um, do they have bestsellers? Let's see. Let's click on control F and type in bestseller. When I see it, I, and you can see on the top right hand screen here, it says four, you know, 12, there's 12 of them here. Um, also don't forget to do popular now, okay? Um, that's two of them. So you have about 14 on the first page. You probably can go many more pages. That's a bigger indicator that it's quite a large market. And by the way, there's so many niches within funny mugs. There's so many niches within funny mugs, okay? You have, you have to do due, due diligence to research it further, okay? So we, um, cause I don't teach that in this, you know, three-step training, but you know, there's only so much time guys. Okay. Look, bestseller is eight. Okay. You can write these product ideas down. That's fine. That's not what we're doing today. We're trying to see if the funny mug category, how high of a priority is it or how really good is it? Because I tested it by doing that little search thing. Okay. But how good is it? Okay. So there are some things that don't have a lot of things auto-populate. So imagine you have something on the low priority because like Dahlia, I put it in there and there wasn't much thing that auto-populated. Maybe it's a loser. Hold on, hold on. So let's do something really niche um, such as, I don't know, I'm making this up guys. Cactus, mug, oh, okay. You saw that not many things auto-populated. It's obviously a little bit more um, niche, right? But I want you to understand that it's still worth going after if it's a bestseller on the page. You might say, but not many people are searching for it. Why there, would there be bestsellers? I find more often than not, I do a lot of product research, guys. Okay, this is it's in my it's in my brain. Okay, sorry, I got a new phone. I didn't put it on silent yet. Okay, so it's because it's not saturated in my product research ways. Okay, this is not what I'm teaching you right now, right? But I am able to identify markets, product types, et cetera, that is not heavily saturated. I'm a genius, okay, if I don't say so myself. But nonetheless, having said that, sometimes they're not heavily searched. There's, they're searched a decent amount, but there's not so many things auto-populating, but you're one of the first to market. You say, Dahlia, how likely is that, right? Should I just follow the crowd? Many times we do follow the crowd and that's fine. But don't discount an idea because you don't see a whole bunch of auto-populating. Still hit enter and see if there's bestsellers, okay? I don't see bestsellers on this page. I don't see popular on this page. So the cactus market, is kind of, that's kind of niche though. I'm trying to think of a better you know, example, um, is, is not so much, right? So, and I'm trying to think of another example, but I can't on top of my head. I might end up having a whole bunch of ones that don't work out. But I still want you to hit enter and see if there's bestsellers. That means while there's many more people, many people not searching for it, it may not be a lot of competition, okay, um, <clears throat> for that type. And if you narrow down even further, pack to smug. And so first of all, if you see it stops short, that means you can't do the ABC method. This is all I got, okay? 
How about cactus drink, drinking glasses? Again, I'm assuming if you want to get into mugs, you want to drink glasses. I don't know. I see Etsy's pick. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Um, popular. This all this takes some some work. So we have this one, personalized tumbler. Where's where's the where's the, where the cactus? Oh, the cactus on the bottom. I saw that. Okay. So I'm gonna say mm, I don't know. I see it's saturated. You can also visibly visibly look and say, okay, it's being searched for barely, but I see cactus everywhere. You know, this one's gonna stay low. Okay. It's still a market, but it's in a state low. And eventually you may get into it because it's still a market and there's so many different ways you could make cactus designs. But, you know, so so here's that, right? So you did your search on Etsy. I have a few more things to show you, right? I showed you the bestseller thing. You saw the auto population thing. You go to Marmalade, okay? Marmalade, guys, remember that? You can also use Etsy rank. I personally use Marmalade. I use Etsy rank for other things, okay? But for search things, I use Marmalade. Doesn't matter. Um, so let's do cactus mug. You have to, is that how you spell cactus? Yes. You have to put in the exact keyword phrase in here that you get from the Etsy search bar. I don't, plural, non-plural, it matters. You have to write it exactly, okay? Now, um, I have the paid for version for Marmalade. I think you need a pay for version to do this. I'll put a link down below if you're interested in get, guys getting 14 free days. Um, yeah, so. Look at this, guys. Why are people searching for cactus? Okay, this is pretty good. Show me a keyword phrase on Marmalade that doesn't have a crazy amount of competition. You can't, okay? This is really niche, though. So even this is still a little high for this niche category. Um, so let's go back here for a second. So now this other way is to say, let me take the keyword phrase and check Marmalade, right? It's just another way just to solidify and just to confirm your idea, whatever, okay? And so you have to, you have to argue, okay, Dahlia, there's a decent amount of searches, decent amount of engagement, that's really cool. Um, and obviously it was sold a lot during the end of the year. Forecasted, whew, excuse me, to be quite a bit in May. Guys, obviously, uh, Cinco de Mayo and uh, probably a few other things, right? That people would be searching for this type of mug then, uh, summertime. But you have to ask yourself, okay, while well, it's good, and you can write this down in your paper, by the way, um, number of searches, number of engagement, low competition. Because even if it's low, you may eventually look and in priority order say, you know what, this is probably time for me to get into this market. Cactus and other greenery type thing. I don't know if you did that research, right? Let's look at another phrase. Hold on a second. What was the other thing I looked at? That was a lot. M funny mug. Okay. So again, you wrote down general ones and you can certainly look at general. So funny mug for dad. Obviously we're in Father's Day time. Let's do funny mug for work. Actually, no, let's do funny mug for dad. Hey. You have to make sure to spell it right, guys, okay? I made that mistake before. Is it mug or mugs? Funny mug for dad. Okay. Give it a second, and then it will come up. Okay. Oh, because now we're... Hold on a second. A lot of people competing for this. Not much engagement. Oh, it doesn't show me May yet. Hold on. It doesn't show me May yet. One second. The next 30 days. I don't know what the, what's up with this one. I feel like this would be high. I don't know if it's like spazzing out right now. Because if you search for it, mug, by the way, is one of the top, if I'm not mistaken, gifts for teachers which is interesting. Um, let's see here, bestseller. Spell bestseller, Dahlia, right? Yeah, there's people searching for us. I don't know what that's about, okay? But nonetheless, you continue this and you write down these things, okay? This is a bad example, clearly. Funny mug for work. That's another one I saw. 
I'm not sure if something's wrong with it because it's a seasonal product. I don't know. I mean, obviously you could buy Funny Dad mugs all throughout the year, but we all know that it goes higher during Father's Day and Christmas. Okay, this one also has lower searches. I'm not sure how accurate this is at the moment. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I still wouldn't not do it if it shows its best sellers. What am I writing? Funny mug for work. And search for best sellers. Some of them might be hit or miss on, on Marmalade, to be honest. And by the way, E ranks the same. You, you'll see that. Where is it? Oh, best seller. Okay. Yeah, there are some. And within the co worker space, uh, the work space, there is quite a bit of different ones you could do. So uh, for people that are leaving, people got promoted, for the boss, you know, for one that you have anxiety, like a whole bunch of things, okay? Anyway, so another thing is you're looking for reviews. Now, having a bestseller tag pretty much means that it's sold, okay? And with X amount of sales, you do get reviews. However, if you want to take it a step further, you could look and say, how many reviews for this item? For this item. When you say reviews for this item, it's 101. You know it probably sold well over a thousand times. Since when? Since it first listed. When did it list? I forgot if Etsy shows you when it first listed. I think it does. Guys, am I wrong? Yes. Oh, no, no, sorry, sorry. <laughs> this was purchased today. It doesn't show you first listed. I think, I want to say... Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Farewell gifts for coworkers. It's not on here. I'll use a sample of things. Hold on. Wow. I I thought it did show me the first date it got listed. I could be wrong. Somewhere shows me that. Maybe it's E rank. It doesn't matter. The point is, you know, it's hold well over a million times, right? Like a thousand times. Okay. Um, so that's another way. Another thing you could do, because here's the thing you must say, Dahlia, the initial, initial way you taught us, isn't that enough to check demand? Absolutely. I told you you could cross off the video. I like to show people different options because I, I don't, I don't always show examples of every product type in these videos, right? Some things may work research methods for demand may work better than others. I just want to show you every one I use because I do research for my shop. I've got, like, I mean, all my products are the same across the board, but I do, I use all these because sometimes a lot of my products will get found in Google search or, or on Amazon or whatever. Okay. But when you can do that whole search bar and the bestseller uh, thing on Amazon as well, and the reviews thing as well, um, I go to Google uh, trends. Okay. This is a little harder to use. So this is probably going to show you for two seconds. Okay. So I'm going to show you mug or mugs. Okay. We're going to explore and then we're going to change it to past 30 days. Past day is kind of weird. And then let me move my face over here. Okay. So if you scroll down, oh, star Wars. Yeah. I saw that earlier. Okay. Starbucks mighty mug. I think that's a brand. Okay. You can see break out topics me because that's on the rise right now okay which is really cool because if you put in your general product type this may help see um you could technically do this for getting ideas part one but the reason why i'm putting this in part two is because you could put in your thing that you're trying to research and see if it's doing really great copper mugs near me that's interesting so a lot of people on star wars is a star wars movie coming out i don't even know Okay, Mother's Day was, and I think it's dying down. Teacher mugs, obviously, because we're at the time I'm recording this, it is teacher appreciation time, end of school, et cetera. Okay, so if you do funny mugs, and, and Google Trends is really finicky, you're not gonna always get a lot. It's, it's, it's a little hard to use, to be honest, okay? Another way I do it, <clears throat> hold on, stop it. Okay, yes, I search for nothing. Hear me out. I do past 30 days or a little bit longer if you want. And then I, and you can see in general what's, you know, trending. US T 
Teacher Appreciation Week. So if you sell anything that could be made for a teacher appreciation, you could make it, okay? Um, Cinco de Mayo, Guardians of the Galaxy. Again, be careful with trademark. I'm not telling you what to do. Just do your due diligence, okay? Um, et cetera, and so forth. So you could go into categories. You could search. You could go to general category. Or you could search, right? So mine is like office supplies. Okay. I mean, mine's not quite office supplies, to be honest, but sometimes you find things on here that are just, what? No. But you could, you could um, change this back. Why did it? All categories. And I could do stationary. Let's see. Okay, stationary front. Okay, Barnes and Noble principal. Yeah, some things are not. Or if you have the type that you want to do, such as um, what's really trending right now? Hold on a second. Oh, uh, yeah, teacher appreciation. So teacher mug. Um, you know, I'm assuming. Okay. Yeah, so it's showing you. Damn it. Let's do past 90 days. Yeah. Um, and so by searching this, you'll see that, okay, yes, it's something that we should clearly do. Absolutely done. So the, the show that the fact that it shows you break out just confirms with you that it should be done. Um, you take your other ideas and you write like brides made shirt. Again, Google Trends is a little harder to use. So hang tight with me. The next thing I'm going to show you is going to blow your mind. Okay. Hang tight. I think the next and last thing I'm going to show you. Yeah. The next and last thing. Okay. Um, and by the way, if you are like, I want to do product research, uh, sorry, keyword research, um, for product types for Amazon, you don't have to, use, you don't use Marvel lead use, you use quite a bit of tools, but I use merchant words. Okay. So anyway, scrolling down, nothing. Yeah. It's a little harder related topics, the color black man, right? To make sure. I don't know how that makes sense, but anyway, so let's get into the other thing, Google keyword planner. Okay, so you have to have a Google Ads account. It's free to set up, okay? You don't have to actually spend any money. You have to have an active credit card in there. Um, you don't have to spend any money, okay? So you would type in the keyword phrases that are related to each other. So you might do funny mug, enter. You might do bridesmaid mug, enter. Again, you're going through your list. Don't put conflicting topics. Like if you have a, sh a whole bunch of shirt related um, keyword phrases, save that for the next search. Okay. It's fine. Um, and, and then, uh, you might have, you might did research and did, um, you know, the, the, let's say, uh, let's see, hold on. Teacher mugs, teacher mug. Okay. Let's say get results. So I like, um, Google keyword planner only if you spend on ads, you'll see exactly, excuse me, exact monthly searches. I don't spend on ads. Okay. Not yet. So a few ways you could read this, you could sort and click on average monthly searches and say, okay, are these good? Are these good to go after? Yes. You are selling on Etsy and Amazon, right? And within those markets, that's where it really matters. If there's actually demand in there, which I showed you, but don't underestimate the Google traffic you may or may not get. Okay. And this is a good indication if it would be also con confirming if it's popular on there. And you might see other related things on here, okay? So you have um, funny coffee mugs. Yeah, so it's one to 10K searches. Again, this is a range because I don't pay for Google ads. One thing you should know is that funny cups, what does that mean? Recently in the last three months have had an increase, okay? Um, and you go down the list because it is in order for um, high high to low. But you could see that teacher mug in general and funny mug is 1K to 10K. Again, this is a range, but nonetheless, um, you could use tools like Uber Suggest and Keyword Surfer and install their Chrome extension and see more accurate results when you hit search. Let me show you. Mm. Okay, so let's do teacher mug. Give it a second, it's loading. 2,900, you see that? These are estimates, okay. Google keyword planner will have the most accurate results, but if you're not paying for ads, you won't see it. You'll see a range. The range is good enough if you don't want to get the Chrome extension. 
that's fine, right? But you can write that down. Either one is fine. Um, so it shows you the range and so you understand how popular. Also, we know 1K to 10K is way more popular than 100 to 1K, right? But this will give you good indication. So you could write that down and say, okay, this market has 1K to 10K search results each month, et cetera, on average. You could also sort by three month change. This will help you determine what is, um, oh my God, I've just read the thing really funny. It's not appropriate, but um, to see what is trending right now in the last three months, this infinity sign, I don't, I don't know. Google it if you don't know what that is, because I don't know what that is, but I look for the, the, number of percentages these have been mostly trending you could go something much more general you could do just mug and let it tell you what types of mugs and hit results and then sort by three months change i last left it on three month change so it's fine so first before we do that look at average average monthly searches you might think of ideas that you didn't think of when you were doing part one of this research right the first video um, did I sort by average monthly searches? Hold on. Okay, there it is. Okay, Starbucks cup. All right, mug, ember mug. I don't know what that is. Okay, Yeti cup, of course. Again, be careful with trademarks. Okay, do what you need to. It's not my business, but uh, don't tell me, don't tell you, don't say I didn't warn you. Okay, personalized mugs, because these are general, right? And of course, within these, there might be niches. Research it. Ember? What is ember? Okay, anyway. Christmas mugs, okay, et cetera. Look at that. Okay, so so you could get ideas from here. However, you're just trying to confirm, okay, does it is a highly searched? Find it, write it down. Three month changes tells you how much of a priority it could be um, because it's on the rise recently. Dugout mugs. First of all, what are dugout mugs? Look how much it's being searched for. Let's take a look together, guys. Oh. <gasps> They look like baseball bats. Oh, it's a brand. It's a brand. Hmm. I thought it was a type. Okay. That makes sense. All right. Disney Starbucks. Okay, stay away from these, right? Father's Day mugs. Obviously, it's on the rise because we're hitting the Father's Day very soon. Mug dog? I don't know what that is. Bee mug? <gasps> Guys, remember we saw in the video, was it this video or last video? That the bee theme was a bestseller. Why? I don't know um color changing mugs okay insulated cup right so you could see the ones that are most recently trending so if your item is on this list and you could go let's say if you didn't have it on the list and you're like oh baseball bat mug that's really cool guys this is what we saw let's put it here let's see if people are searching for it they are but hold on they might not be a lot of competition let's take a look together uh i was wrong People are people are, are creating it. So that's um hmm, that's a no-go. But let's see. It's a mini baseball bat. That's not quite what I was looking for. Mug. Okay. People are searching on a Google. And the this one up here. That's cool. That's very cool. All right. I'm not in the market, but let's go back. So you could take this and see if people, you could take it back to Etsy. If you, if you didn't think of something on your own and you found it through here in keyword ideas from Google, you could take it. However, the percentage change just indicates that there's something really trending this last three months. However, the year on year shows something that has never been trending as much before now trending currently compared to last year. So, um, Copper mug, while it's not trending in the last three months, it's definitely way more than last year, okay? Uh, freaking the sheets mug. It's funny saying, I guess. <laughs> not trending in the last three months. Average, just people are searching for it, 1K to 10K a month. But compared to last year, it's a better, it's a saying that is popping off, right? And technically, that could, saying could be applied to many things, right? So you see what I'm doing here? I'm... Confirming if the things I wrote down are indeed like how much it's searched for in general. Yes, this is Google and you're selling an Etsy and Amazon. I know that, but you may find this useful and then you may use this on top of that to get more ideas. Okay. And it's free to sign up for. Okay. So just do it. Um, I use this often. Okay. All right, guys. So that is it. This video was just to show you 
all the ideas you've written down to see if there's demand for this type of product, product niches, et cetera. You can even do your product research and narrow down even more like funny mug with sayings or certain sayings. Imagine you did your research and you're like, you found, you know, a saying freak in the sheet, like free, wait, I can't even write freak in the sheets. Okay. I don't know what this is going to come up with, but well, let's hope. It, okay. So in general, it's searched for a decent amount, maybe nothing crazy, but quote, yeah. And maybe, yeah. So you could still do research with additional things in here. Um, and that will help you. But nonetheless, I want you to have a list of your ideas that in priority order, if they're even worth searching for, if they're even worth creating, I'm sorry. Um, do you know the demand? If it's low demand, put it on the back burner. Okay, if it's higher demand, definitely consider it. All right, now there's one more part to this video. It is going to show you, so while you checked on demand and you're like, oh my God, high demand, I should get into it. Hold tight, this third video, I think the easiest one of all, will help you decide which one of the high demand ones or medium demand ones you get into first because, or at all, because some of them are really saturated. So you might, you might know that silver personalized jewelry is high demand. But the market is super saturated. So this next video you're going to watch coming out soon. Uh, subscribe to my channel, all that stuff. So you make sure you don't miss it to help you then put the final puzzle piece and say, okay, now that I did that, can I break into the market? It's not just about checking for saturation. There's a few more pieces to the puzzle, okay? Make sure you subscribe I thought that to, to catch that next video, sorry. And that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like this video, comment, and share. Bye.